what does sustainability mean? I'm almost what you would call the poster child to sustainable development. I keep everything internalized. I manage my own losses. I raise my own stock. I cut my costs. I cut my dependence on other you know, outsourcing. It provides me more control. It allows me to adjust easier to all types of situations. It's just an all around perfect way to be able to manage operations. It's a focus on sustainability, focusing on profits, focusing on control. There, I would not be keep any other way than to manage my bees in a sustainable fashion. But that's not to say that's where sustainability stops. Sustainability within a business means you need options, you need fail-safes, you need to be able to back up onto something. When all else fails, you need to be able to lean on some kind of option to be able to get you through, otherwise you go broke. All options on the table. Being able to broaden the scope of that toolkit. To be able to have a situation happen and just instantly reach out, bring back the solution, drop it into your box and carry on. Sustainability, I think people view sustainable development in a perverted sense where it's, you know, closed doors. It's not about closed doors, it's about open doors. It's being able to react instantly to the situation and figure out these situations ourselves. That's what it's all about. Quite a few dead spots in that one. Quite disappointed. Obviously, there's a little yard here that fell apart on me. I didn't track which yard that was. But whatever happened there, it just, boom, disappeared. When it's... And the problem was, that yard, that truckload there, was the best coming out of the shed, I thought. You know, over there is where my hives flooded out. I have a truckload here I'm gonna pick up and take out. But this was the last one I took out of the shed and all the way through, all through that tough weather, this was the one that was holding themselves the best, I thought. They ate the most patties, they drank the most syrup, just boxes looking of bees of all times every time I looked in there, but it just fell apart. It, I mean, so that's quite disappointing. But it is what it is, so get on with it already. Quit bitching and just get on with it. One of the things is nice about moving yards out of holding yards like this is you can kind of erase the tone of that particular spot. So we called out all the dead ones. We called out all the weak ones. So everything left is either good or viable enough to work with. Put them on the truck set them down in a totally different yard, forget about them, then come back and start from scratch. That's the best thing about moving hives out from holding yards is you can just kind of clean the plate, start again. So I should be able to pick this up within the next 20 minutes or so and get out of here if I just get back to work. And then housekeeping again <clears throat> I might try to just leave the guys alone as they work through that and I might go and help other places on the farm I just want to get away from these bees for a little bit it's you know I should be with my bees but at the same time it's like beating a dead horse I just got a damn there's bees are so frustrating Reset.
alive. Dead. Reset. <laughs>